didn't they exactly. go? Didn't the, didn't the attorney uh, go before the judge a, a week or so before the verdict and and move for a uh, dismissal yeah. because there wasn't even before even before my patient came in because there was no evidence presented by the prosecution that indicated I was guilty of fraud. Right, that's the whole point. But they just wanted to railroad you, Antonella. Yeah, no. That's what they did, and they railroaded yeah. you, railroaded you. And they and they got their way for now, but we're not going to let them. We're not going to let them. You know, just keep banging, us, you know, banging us down, knocking us down, and and we have to do something. I, I hope the judge gets enough letters to get him. That would be the best way to do this. That's why I'm going to keep. You I know, we'll keep so. doing these appeals. You know, we'll try to see if we can make some change here because this is again, this is about our own freedom, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody, it, this is about it your is freedom a, to let to be to 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 to. to I mean. It's unbelievable. You have you know, freedom even, for your health care. Even, so what, witness, so even what, her, witness's son, her witness's son put a post up on the medical conspiracy page last week after the verdict. And he was so angry. You know, said, you know, uh, all you people, uh, and he used a lot of colorful language that I can't say on the air, you know, but, well, not in front of Dr. C anyway, but, you know, he said, you know, I hope you people get cancer. I hope you people get cancer, and I hope it's family genetic. Uh, because the, you deserve that after what you've done, you know, with the, with this this lady putting her everything on the line, you know, to save so so some people didn't make it, you know. I mean, that's uh, what it, I'm saying. It's ridiculous. Most it, people don't make it with with in, in with having you, the, the the chemo ther therapy. Do you How get a they? warranty? That's what he said. Do you get a warranty with chemo? Hell no, you don't get a warranty with chemo. And the guy exactly. keeps on working, and he gets praised when your relatives are dead and gone. Yeah, it's terrible. But yeah. Okay, so we're yeah. gonna keep uh, we're gonna keep an eye on this. Uh, I want to thank yeah. everybody for tuning in, and again, I want to thank you, Ant Dr. Antonella Carpenter, uh, who has been wrongly convicted of twenty nine counts of fraud of fraud by curing Something cancer patients, fraud. twelve <laughs> of whom gave their full testimony that they were cured by her, and uh, are continue to be cancer free. But that didn't matter because of the one or two people that they claim died under your care that makes it fraud no they didn't die under my care they, well, di they died months way months after well that's what i meant but they're claiming yeah. that it was your fault was yeah. yeah that was, was i'm just fault. yeah i'm claiming that it was claiming that it was your fault it's outrageous and uh, we're not going to let this uh, go quietly and Randy, you know we'll we'll keep that we'll keep on this, and we'll do some more shows on this in the future. And because um, okay. right, this is like really, I'm really trying to push this. This is uh, the 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 mainstream. If you search her name, I'll tell you this too, Howard. Uh, before the verdict, you can go online and search um, Antonella Carpenter um, fraud, and just search those three words, and um, your website was on page one. Not ours, but your website was on page one of Google search. So I know that there is, you know, maybe not as much saturation as the mainstream, but at least another opinion, another side to this story. There is a full story that's being ignored, and the other side needs to be told. And we're gonna we're gonna tell it. We're we're gonna continue to tell it, and I'm gonna keep tagging it. Actually, fraud using the tag because that'll just bring us up in the search engine even more. I'll put more articles to it. I can link more to it. I do get a lot of traffic, guys. I mean, it's a, it's a blessing. It's God's will. And I, I'm just trying to let people see what's going on in the world that they normally wouldn't know. That's all. That's all I try to do. Yeah. And okay. um, God bless you all. And Thank you. I, I, I pray for you guys. You're in my prayers. A lot of... Uh, a lot of... Just, just so many people are, are being so persecuted in so many different ways and you are certainly one of them and um, uh, you too man and, and yeah and, we all are man. tomorrow i'm probably going to be arguing politics with you again but i still <laughs> love you. um okay <laughs> that's okay well, well listen we know, both we yeah. both agree the greed is the biggest problem exactly. oh yeah that is yeah. the biggest problem um and it's killing people mercilessly yes okay it's killing people just so they can make all that money. And it's not just a pharmaceutical company. FDA is making a lot oh, of money. Oh, it's the FDA, it's the CDC, it's the World Health Organization, it's NIH, it's all of them, you know? Yeah. It's all you of know? them. They're all working together. They're all trying to make as much money as they can while they corral us, the cattle. 
you know? Yeah. Keep us all, keep us all you know, well-fed and, you know, distracted. Uh, not even well-fed because now the price of food is so high that who can afford to eat? No, that's true. They're actually, yeah, you're right. I mean, there is, but my point is they want us to be not paying attention as they do what they've to been doing. what's really going on, yeah. yeah. But, you know, food prices went up because of oil prices, and now oil prices are back down. Yeah, yeah. some prices of the food, <laughs> some are going down, not all of well, them. Well, listen, I mean, I think, I think there's, there's a huge, huge crash coming, and um, we're all going to have to get through that, but it's coming. And they're, they're, this little Ponzi yeah. scheme, this financial Ponzi scheme isn't going to last forever, the dollar. No. They talk about the strength of the dollar as opposed to what? Compared to what? Compared to the to the negative returns, the, the negative interest rates that they're giving in Europe? I mean, come on. <laughs> People put money in the bank in Europe, they take the money they take your money out. <laughs> like Instead whole, of giving you interest. Yeah. Yes, they take the your no, they take money. It's what crazy. It? The world is three billion dollars in debt. Or the world is thirty billion, thirty no. trillion dollars in debt. It's more than uh, that. Who, no, no, way more than that. Who is the world in debt to? Jupiter? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, actually, yes. They, well, not Jupiter per se. More, more they, they believe themselves to be gods. Saturn. Yes, Saturn. Saturn, mm -hmm. Saturn aliens. Oh. This, yeah, whatever. They believe themselves <laughs> to be gods. Oh, you, know, you the, should the have bangers. seen some of some of the doctors that came in to testify for. The prosecution walking around like they were gods, you know. Well, they do. They have the most incredible egos because, yes, they believe that they have the mature minds and that they they <laughs> rule. And there's definitely look there. There's a tremendous hook here. There is one of the the order is involved here. So there's people. That's how they keep all this stuff together. That's how everything you works. Seen, people are initiated. You should have seen, yeah. seen her ex husband coming in, walking around like he was a god, trying to flash all these. You know, uh, secret buzzwords and hand signs to all of these. <laughs> yep, I'm telling you, that's what they do, and they sit in the court. That's why, like, listen, you go to court if you're a Freemason, you go to court and you sit there and you put the right signal out there. Judge will give you the pass, man. You got it. Because remember, it's all the same thing. I don't know if you're even aware of this. This is going way yeah. long. I gotta go. But um, the the tears that in, in the judge in in the courtroom, the three tears. It's the same thing in the altar of in a, in a church. The three tears. And the same thing with the church, and they wear the vestments they wear are to, to signify woman, female, female. It's really deep, but anyway, but it it, it all goes back to to ancient uh, customs and, and traditions. So the court is a temple, though you're the absolutely court correct. is a temple. That's correct. Now that is exactly right. The court is a temple. The judge is the high priest, and the judge is the high priest. That's exactly right. That's why he stands three three above three levels above and looks down upon you. Just like in a church, you know, just like, yeah. uh, anyway. Um, okay. So, again, I want to thank you all for uh, for stay tuning. Check out Truth Talk News on YouTube and uh, subscribe, please. And also check out HowardNema.com. i got a lot of links here. I'm going to put a whole bunch of links to Medical Conspiracy, the new Facebook page and other things. And we're keeping up, can keep up with Antonella's story. And, again, Doctor, God bless yeah. you and uh, until thank next time. You. The medical conspiracy dot wordpress dot com also. You got it. Okay. Okay. All right. We are in process of developing a whole series of techniques which uh, will enable the controlling oligarchy to get people actually to love their servitude. First of all, to standardize the population, to iron out uh, inconvenient human dis uh, um, differences, uh, to create, uh, so to say, mass-produced uh, models of human beings arranged uh, in some kind of a scientific uh, caste system. A number of the predictions which were purely fantastic when I made them 30 years ago have come true or, or seem in process of coming true. That a, a number of techniques about which I talk seem to be here already. And that there seems to be a general movement uh, in the direction of this kind of ultimate revolution, this, this method of control uh, by which uh, people can be made to enjoy a state of affairs which by any decent standard 
they ought not to win. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders.